Well, it may not be Arsenal's first choice back four, but the defensive unit that saw them through their Champions League tie with Real Madrid is kept together for the sixth game running. Its first outing was in the 1-0 defeat at Liverpool last month. The only changes to the Arsenal team from that night, Alexander Hleb coming into the side with Robert Pires, who's yet to agree a new contract, still out of favour, and Freddie Ljungberg, who's overcome a calf injury, expected to switch to the left of midfield. Jose Reyes and Abu Diaby are both injured. Liverpool have Sami Huppier back after the hamstring injury that ruled him out of Wednesday's Champions League exit by Benfica. Two other changes see Jan Kronkamp and Didi Haman come in for Harry Kuehl and Fernando Morientes. With Liverpool struggling for goals, Peter Crouch, the only one of their strikers to score since the turn of the year, will be the focal point of their attack. Morientes, Kuehl and Robbie Fowler, who has a good record against Arsenal, are all on the bench. Well, both have changed personnel and systems from midweek. <clears throat> Arsenal returned to the 4-4-2, they played against Fulham and played so well. Four weeks ago I watched this team play at Anfield, they were awful. But a lot's changed, the back four are defending much, much better. And I think two key areas wide. Kleb playing here along this side here and the return of form, in my opinion, of Freddie Jungberg. I think Freddie in the last three or four games has been back to his best and that's made a huge difference. For Liverpool. Well, we think this is how they're going to go. I do expect Kronkamp to play forward and Luis Garcia to play forward whenever they have the ball. Haman and Alonso will hold. I think both of them will hold. I don't think they'll commit any more than the four that we see there into the attack. And if they can keep a clean sheet, which they've done many, many times this year, either of those four are capable of nicking the one goal they might need. So it is Liverpool's final visit to Highbury, their exit from the Champions League in the week, ensuring that they wouldn't be here in that competition. They do come here as the European champions and facing the only British team that can succeed them. Will Thierry Henry be doing this May what Steven Gerrard did last May and lifting the trophy with the big ears that Gerrard himself handed over? in Paris at the draw ceremony on Friday. Today has been designated Captain's Day. It's theme days at Highbury for the last season here. And two fine examples of skippers there at the head of the line. Lehman. What a transformation it's been for the Arsenal goalkeeper. Considered a liability by some last year. He's given them a lifeline in many games this. Well, he's had to. Such as have been the fragility of the defence at times this season. But he's worked much harder than he probably would have imagined. But knowing goalkeepers the way I do, he'd be half happy about that. Making saves is what they love doing. Being an active, that's all. And here they come. It's one of the classic fixtures of English football. Three times an FA Cup final, once a League Cup final. This is the last league fixture between the two at Highbury. It's Arsenal against Liverpool next. Against Liverpool, commentators Andy Gray and Rob Hawthorne. Peter Crouch's first ever senior game at Highbury, but he has scored here in his only previous appearance at youth level for Tottenham of all clubs in an FA Premier Youth Final. This is actually Arsenal's first Premiership match at Highbury in a month. It's Liverpool's 50th game of the season, and it's Arsenal who get it underway, still leading points in the uh, Premiership to ensure that they will be in the Champions League next season. They can take nothing for granted in terms of getting to the final of this season's competition itself. Adebayor back to Emmanuel Ebue. And Adebayor is broken, but he's offside in the first 30 seconds. Well, I'm just looking quickly at Liverpool. I fully expected Luis Garcia to start left side. And Steven Gerrard to be the player making the runs from deep. It doesn't look like that's the case. Gerrard started nearest us on the left here. And Luis Garcia, the one who's playing up alongside Peter Crouch, and certainly near enough him. 
Carlos Garcia, who had a dramatic introduction as a substitute and got the late winner against Arsenal at Anfield just 26 days ago. Here's Hlep. Now Fabregas, who was outstanding in the week against Real Madrid. Freddy Ljungberg. They all were, to be honest, Rob. Fair enough. They all were. Wasn't a failure in the side. And not many people would have seen the result of that tie coming, bearing in mind how Arsenal did perform at Anfield just before they went to the Bernabeu. Here's Gerrard. Now Steve Finnett. This is Cromkamp. Finnan has come in here to pick up the pieces, he's looked for Crouch. And Toure hurt himself in coming across to block that off from Peter Crouch. Here's her man. Steve Finnan. And back by Jamie Carragher. Jose Reina's first game at Highbury and first game against Arsenal. He was suspended for the meeting a month ago. That's Crouch's header. Now Steven Gerrard. And again Gerrard. Yeah, that was Yeah, that was a good tackle. Nice bright opening to the game, I'll say that. Here's Henri. Linking up brilliantly with Jungberg. Well, he doesn't often pick the wrong thing out there, but I think he has done. I think the angle's totally against him from scoring himself. He does open himself up great in that side to play into the far corner, but the angle was definitely against him there. Well, just quickly, Stevie Gerrard, Luis Garcia. You see Garcia down just in front of us now, where they're just going to alternate swap occasionally. Keep an eye on that. And he's playing there now, and Gerard's most central. Luis Garcia, who's pulled out to this left hand side, having started his support to Crouch. Well, they're going to get Cronkamp, Gerard, and Luis Garcia as the support players. That's an absolute certainty. Here's Emmanuel Adebayor. Now Fabregas. Again, offside against Adebayo. <clears throat> Must have been close. Now it's good football. This could be on. Oh, he's nowhere near off. Nowhere near off. Yeah, the flag went up. Yeah, that's a very popular side. That left-hand side of Arsenal. Steve Finnan and Cromkamp are going to have some work to keep it quiet. Says Fabregas is the first subject of player camp. Sky Digital viewers pressed the red button on your remote again Fabregas picking out the pass this time Freddy Ljungberg it is down that left hand side that Arsenal are already starting to make inroads Gilberto though has lost out there to Didi Haman and here's Steve Finnan now Gerard given away and usually to Hleb Henri aimed towards Adebayo, but Carragher intervened. This is Gilberto, though. Kronkamp in the way. A man looking for Crouch. Jungberg. Adebayo. There's Jungberg. Past the man facing up to Steve Finnan as well. Adebayor, who uh, played for Monaco at home and away in the Champions League last season. One at home, lost the away match. Senderos, now Henri. Hippier at his back and his return crucial for Liverpool today. 
Well, he won't mind Henri in that position, right up against him like that, where he can bully him a little bit if he needs to. That's when Henri gets turned and going at him. Might be different then. Here's Gilberto. Looks to pick out a ball to Haleb. The header away is by Warnock. Up here. Now Crouch, Toure comes in. Adebayor. Colo Torre, can he measure the pass? Carragher stood up to it. Jungberg. Now Gerard. Flat. It's a Boué who thrashes it across, it's cleared by Carragher. And Gerrard. Crouch. Well, not a shot that Pere is warming up early on. You can usually see that, you don't know if somebody's got a problem. And Freddy Hildeg came into this match uh, carrying a, a bit of a problem anyway it's a nagging problem that ruled them out of Sweden's recent international in Ireland as well as uh, ending his involvement midweek early and you know, he's maybe aggravated that here's yeah, what I was talking about different result now and he pulls it back and out of all waste the opportunity well that's 1-0 that's what I mean <clears throat> when you're up against him Hooper is happy but as soon as he gets turned there's only one winner in this race and it isn't Sammy Hoopier. Perfect halfway line. Space in behind. Get after it. This should be 1 0. He's trying to look around and say maybe it bobbled. I don't think it did. It maybe arrived at him a little quick because he fires at Atom Thierry Henry. But what you've got to do when it's like that is just control it. You don't need to swing at the ball. If you get yourself nice and rigid, side foot it, use the pace on the ball. You don't often miss from that close in. And will it splash it back and give it away a corner? This is probably the one pitch in the country that you can never use it as, as an excuse. As Adebayor might have wanted to there. So and Gilberto joining Senderos in the Liverpool area for Fabregas's corner. Cleared by Gerard. Only to Kleb. And it's wide. That's a word from our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Yes, Rob, there is a problem with uh, Freddie Jungberg. He's got a problem with his calf muscle. He's just been across to the bench and said that I'm OK, give me at least five minutes. Uh, Robert Perez has now been recalled and he's putting his top back on. So I think they're going to keep an eye on him, but for the moment, he's going to continue. So Perez waits again on the bench. As Jungberg tries to run off that injury. Is Flamini. Lundberg showing no signs of the injury as he shook off Finnan. And he caught Jan Kronkamp. Here's Chabi Alonso. One back by Fabregas, added by Orr. Fabregas. Such a great football to watch Fabregas when he's on the ball. Like all great players in congested areas, he seems to just make time for himself. Jungberg, what a burst from Flannery. Just too much on it, and Carragher came across. Crouch. Send Ross away, that's Carragher. That's left. Fabregas again picks out the pass to Adebayor, who wastes it. A little unlucky. He knew what he was trying to do, he was just trying to feed it first time into Kleb. Keep the move going. Oh, 
Here's Stephen Warnock. Well, that's early. But it gives you a chance to just assess where the action's taking place. Pretty impressive start from Arsenal. Forcing Liverpool back, forcing them to defend. Here's Gerard. Xavi <laughs> Alonso. Senderos. I think his 50th game for Arsenal today, Philip Senderos. The ups and downs since his arrival in the team. But despite the fact it's been an unsettled back line, they've only conceded a couple of goals with this makeshift back four they've turned out today. Crouch, Steven Gerrard, away by Gilberto. Nachleb. Henry makes a break towards the middle, he managed to get in front of Carragher. Just a little firm with the pass, Kleb. Let's, let's have another update on Freddie Ljungberg from Jeff Shreves. Robbie's just come out to the bench, he said he can't continue, he's got to come off, but the, the problem seems to be that Robert Perez has not warmed up enough, so Freddie's got to do another couple of minutes of calling to the bench, and then they can get Perez on. Thanks, Jeff. So uh, Arsenal at the moment carrying a bit of a passenger in Freddie Ljungberg. Abue's won it from Luis Garcia. Emmanuel Abue challenged by Xavi Alonso. That's Warnock. Sandor's covering Crouch's run. Perez has uh, addressed the warming up problem, so he should be ready to arrive at the next break in play. Here's Cromkamp. Now Finnan. Finnan looking for. when you defend the second ball against Peter Crouch. Not an awful lot you can do except help it on one way or the other. And that's when you work it. Make sure you pick up any bits and pieces that drop there. Here's Warnock. Now Haman. Gerard. Warnock's ball across. Lewis Garcia goes to attack it. A well watched goalkeeper because Garcia going across the face of him. He might well have gone with Garcia and missed this cross, but you watch the way he acts. He really reacts late to it, but he had to. Well, here's the anticipated change which Arsenal have been forced into after just a quarter of an hour. Freddie Ljungberg, it was a risk anyway, and he can't continue. And so on comes Robert Pires. He scored against Liverpool on their last two visits here, and he'll get plenty of time to do so again. Well, I hope it's not too serious for Jungberg. We just talked pre-match about how well he's playing the last couple of weeks. He seems to have found his form. He's got his zip back, he's got his pace back. Seems he's got his enthusiasm back. And wouldn't you believe it, 15 minutes in, he's got to go off. The only thing that Lundberg hasn't got back at the moment is his Rolls. scoring touch. <laughs> Absolutely. You can't believe we're in the middle of March and he hasn't got a league goal this season. Extraordinary. Perez, in contrast, has. In towards Crouch. And he fouled uh, Jens Lehmann. Well, got his eyes on the ball, Peter Crouch. But when you put your arm on the shoulder like that, you're going to get the foul given against you. Here's a Bouet. 
Head away from Chelby Alonso, but cleared by Stephen Warnock. Here's Flair. It's a foul by Luis Garcia. Suggest it's just going to be dinked in. There it is, and it's Crouch who deals with it. Perez with his first involvement looks to drive one across, and he wins the corner out of it. You know, when he gets that tight, there's that many players. I think you've got to stand it. I think if you stand that back post, Gilberto stood in acres of space. It's always difficult to fire it low. So many defenders in. Liverpool still under pressure from the corner. Added by all climbs, but again, Peter Crouch deals with the threat. That's Flamini. Senderos looking to protect it from Crouch. And here's Pires. Fabregas tried to pick out Adebayor. Got away from him. He claimed a handball there against Sammy Hippier. Well, it did hit the arm. But I thought accidental. Because Adebayor miscontrols it totally. You watch this. He tries to take the ball, and he doesn't. And it just comes up, hits him in the arm. Yes, it does, but it's not a free kick. Warnock. Made by Flamini. Added by all. Here's Kleb. Fabregas. You know they don't like crossing it, but when they work the ball as well as they did there with that little one too, and Klebs got a beautiful opportunity to feed it into that area between a back four and a goalkeeper. At times I just think Arsenal miss a trick. There's been a constant criticism of Arsenal Wenger's reign that they don't have that second plan to revert to. Here's Fabregas. Now Carragher. Tura. Now Senderos. New subject for player cam, Steven Gerrard, the man who lifted the Champions League trophy in Istanbul, and it's here today, or something looking like it. Where did they get that from? <laughs> well, Liverpool did win it for keeps, of course. Amazing the parallels, isn't it, between Liverpool last year and Arsenal this, right down to quarter-final opponents, Liverpool Saw off Juventus in the first leg, got a, a second leg draw away. Arsenal will be hoping to follow that example. And the other example there, looking to follow in which Liverpool didn't succeed, is overhauling their closest rivals in the Premiership table. It's Fabregas. Oh, he's got it beyond Carragher. He's in here, Thierry Henry. Would you ever have bet against him? Beautiful finish, clinical finish, Henri at his best. Well, I don't care where you watch the football, what we have just seen is something of the highest, highest quality. I talked about this little kid here, 18 years of age, but watch this, he waits, he waits, and then he plays it perfectly, and I mean perfectly. And how many times have we seen this guy do this? 
opened himself up and then slid it with the right foot into that far corner. He has the time, he takes his time. It is wonderful, wonderful football. Thierry Henry's sixth goal in as many Premiership matches against Liverpool. But his manager will be just as happy with the contribution of Cesc Fabregas. Without the pass, you don't have the chance. And Fabregas was the man who set that chance up for Thierry Henry. Here's Luis Garcia. Adoué. Well, he's been a breath of fresh air as well for Arsene Wenger, the right back. We thought he would miss Lauren. I have to say, he's been that good, they haven't. And for all the renewed speculation that there has been today about a David Beckham move to Arsenal, it would be uh, very much against the Arsene Wenger transfer policy in many respects he tends to make finished articles rather than take them certainly with Fabregas he's unearthed a diamond and also with Thierry Henry as well he uh, changed the position of the man he's made him into the supreme goal scorer that he is Henry looking to provide this time for Adebayor I'll tell you what, if he'd got a little bit more height than that, because it should have gone over the top, there was lots of grass in behind Jimmy Carragher. And Adebayor was heading into it. Here's Chevy Alonso. Gerard played against Fabregas, and it's fallen here to Stephen Warnock. As much has been made about Liverpool's goals or lack of them. Ten games from 2006 have played in the Premiership, and only once have they scored more than one, and that the 2nd of January. Yeah. They've got a bit to do. Here's Henri. Perez has made a burst to his right, couldn't get it past Hupia though. Look at him now. Look at Henri. <laughs> That's the other side of it. Oh, different class. That's got as big a cheer as his goal. Torre, for the first time venturing forward. Here he is again, Henri. Another strike. And you know what's incredible about this guy's goals? How many have we seen like this? And every goalkeeper in world football, never mind the Premiership, must know what's coming. They must know he opens himself out. He plays it with his right foot, and he plays it into the far corner. But time and time and time again, no goalkeeper can do anything about it. Great finish. Top draw. 204 times in his Arsenal career, opposing goalkeepers have been unable to do anything about it. They've got that swagger about them, Arsenal, I mean, that belief, that confidence, is returning. I would suggest Tottenham look over your shoulder. Yes, and uh, they're still to come here, of course, in the run-in. His header back. Now her man. It's Gerald's ball across. Well, not bad from Arsenal's point of view. Liverpool again, a team who we hear make 15 chances they got a match, as many as anyone, more than most. And up till now, haven't made one. A little test for Liverpool, you feel now. 
It's not been an easy time over the last few weeks for Rafael Benitez and his side. Short and goals, only three in the last six league games out of the Champions League. The holders have gone. Huge disappointment there. Talk about uh, Benitez wanting assurances about the funds he'll get in the summer. Kempamp, one of his signings, being embarrassed there, but he has uh, spent already some £13 million on Crouch and Morientes in trying to get the right strike force. Brought in Fowler as well, and yet still he has a very goal-shy team, just one goal in their last four matches. That was scored by Harry Kuehl. Here's Gerrard. Xavi Alonso. Just caught him. Well, Steven Gerrard will trot over and have a look at this. This with a view, he's striking it. He'll be right on his limit, you'd feel. So much so that well, there's hardly a wall going up to speak of. Raymond confident that they can pretty much deal with this. Only two in it. And the short run up suggests this might just be set up for Hoopia and Crouch. Trying to lift it in there for Sammy Hoopier and Gerard himself. Played by Flamini. Here's Finnan. Before he lets it go. still going in the FA Cup and there's a fifth round replay live on Sky Sports 1 this week it's Manchester City against Aston Villa Tuesday from 7.30 an interesting uh, uh, competition in which Arsenal's interest has ended but their pursuit of fourth place in the Premiership goes on it's been a positive start here for them Adebayor has found Abue it's Fabregas. And we come back. Looking to stay inside, but he hadn't actually stayed inside. The flag going up as soon as he moved towards the ball. Yeah, that's just, that does confuse everyone. This new ruling that the official seat would be given and don't flag until the player who might have been offside or was offside goes to get the ball. Gerard finds Crouch. Luis Garcia. Now Xavi Alonso. It's Finnan's cross, Crouch! Well, they cannot afford to miss chances like that. Well, at the risk of being too critical, this is a really poor header. Unchallenged. Sees the ball all the way. Not good. And that's part of the problem is that someone who's natural in there would have done much better. He might miss it, but at least make the goalkeeper save it. And it's a little warning to Arsenal, you know, although it played well, only have the one goal lead, and that's how quickly it can change. One cross, one header. Warning sign then for Arsene Wenger, but this has been the way for Liverpool in recent times, missing a great chance, and it could cost them dear here. It's Adebayor. No! And then hard to keep it in, but in vain. And Thierry Henry, the Arsenal goal scorer, the man with the Midas touch, now the subject of player cam.
Warnock. Yes, Hupia. Now Carragher. Looking for Gerard, but Gilberto kept his eye on it. Here's Gerard. Too long for Crouch and the retrieval with the Luis Garcia. And the collector's item. I don't see that often from him. But we're still in this game, very much so, Liverpool. And just growing, you feel, as the game's going on. Flamini Back by Didi Haman Carragher leaving it to his goalkeeper to deal with here's Luis Garcia Ibuwe's header Fabregas Ibuwe Adebayo Perez has made a good run chance for Ibuwe to make it two I can only think he thinks the goalkeeper's too close to him because he should take it on himself. Lovely football from everyone concerned here. Carved them open again. I think that touch takes it a bit close to Arena, and I think that's what made his mind up, the young lad. The boy that he had to play it. Wonderful football again from back to front so quickly. Ominous signs these for Spurs that Arsenal are getting into their stride at just the right time. And it's going to be a good little race, that. We do think a month or two. Fourth place spot. We're in the mix in Washington. And that was all of the needle stuff like tried there. Slip. Puts it through the gap to Fabregas. Now Pires. Carragher hitting it against Pires. And of course, the worry for Spurs and Blackburn and Bolton is that if Arsenal do win the Champions League and then uh, one of them finished fourth, they won't be able to take their place in the Champions League next season because the dispensation that was given to Liverpool last year won't exist this. Xabi Alonso! That's close. That's a bit two foot wide, that. <clears throat> Just gets a little bit too much cut on this. Look at the cut across the ball to get it moving from left to right. He does that OK. Just a little too much. Well, he's already shown from range this season what he's capable of against uh, Luton in the FA Cup. Yeah, but it wasn't the ball in one of them, was it? <laughs> Still had to get it on target. Carrigan. Finland's ball across. Luis Garcia. Well, not many of them, but two good ones have just arrived, and both have been spurned. This is not easy. I know it's not, but the quality they've got, and it's on his strong side, and he sees it all the way on his foot, he maybe should be doing better. 
Even hitting it into the ground is often better than that. Liverpool just starting to yeah, step yeah. it up and increase the threat. Yeah. Zero at half to half an hour, but in the last six and a half minutes, three attempts. But you have to work a goalkeeper. And it's the same old story for Rafa Benitez, his team making the chances, not taking them. Flamini let that go, and in the end, Torre vindicated that decision. against Peter Crouch. himself more than the opposing player. Well, he certainly jumps at the ball, Tory, but I'm pretty sure that's the ball he jumps at. He goes from a long way away. You watch him come into this shot. And it's a really f committed challenge by both of them. Well, referees don't like to see uh, both feet leave the ground in a dive like that, do they, whether they get the ball or not? No, but both feet left might have left the ground, but he's only tackled with the right leg. He's kept the left leg, Tori, out, out of it. And such was the pace both are going at. The clash was inevitable. It was always going to happen, unless someone pulled out. Neither of them did. A real worry for Arsene Wenger on two fronts. One, he's uh, very limited with his choice of defenders anyway at the moment, and the other is... But Steve Bennett is looking poised to take some sort of action here against Torre. Well, here we see it again as he comes across. Yes, he just jumped it, but that's a, that to me is a good time. He goes in with his right leg, he keeps the left out of the way. He knew exactly what he was doing. Well, you see, he might be taking some action. I, I don't see what. Unless he thinks differently than me, but that wouldn't be the first time that's happened. <laughs> Rosenberg does have uh, Johan Juru on the bench. Should it be necessary to use him? He's uh, just uh, in discussions there with Peter Walton, the fourth official. And he looks in some pain, the boy. Further actions from Steve Bennett then. I didn't think so. I'd have been surprised, honestly, Rob. Hey, awesome thing. You're going to lose Colonel Torre anyway in this match because of the injury. Yeah, they'll give him a couple of minutes. You'll be able to just drop back in there for the time being. Well, he had to make one change because of injury with Freddie Lundberg off. Now for the moment down to ten men. Yeah. 
Here's her man. Now Warner. And Crouch comes behind Jens Lehmann. And we'll again, read it. the flight of it well. well Two back on. Not exactly at 100%. And the sock half downs. I think it's one of those. If it's an impact, then it'll be painful, it'll be sore, but he might just be able to run it off. Here's Adebayo. Fabregas sweeps it across. Lachleb, Henry's calling for it. Perez finds Flamini. Now Henry. Away by Hupia. Man. Warnock and Xavi Alonso. Finnan. Here's Crouch. Gerard, this was good possession. The hand he got, a final pass. Knows the answer. <laughs> Pity. Had the ball for quite a while. It was from Hernan, but it broke down and out of our surge forward is cut short by Warnock. They'll probably get one more, Stephen Warnock. He, he misses the ball first time. That's why the free kick given just there. You can see he's missed it. And then he scoops it away, so no arguments. The free kick. Yes, Fabregas. Of course, the ground by Didi Haman. Now, Haman just used his body, and Pleb just thought, right, as soon as you touch me, then I'll go. And we might just get a free kick. That's what he's got. Close to the goalkeeper. Gerard. Oh. Good effort. Made his mind up as soon as that ball dropped. He was onto it very quickly. One thing on his mind. Hit. Not really threatening the goal in the end. The idea was a good one. Scored here in May, Stephen Gerrard, when Liverpool were beaten as they have been on their last two visits here. Here's Finnan. Xavi Alonso. Gerard again. That side flag is up. Well, he shouldn't be. He really, really shouldn't be. That is so frustrating. Steven Gerard's just saying to him, look across the line. Well, it's touch and go, to be fair to him. It really is touch and go. That's a very generous one. Benefiting the defenders. Well, we're into the two added minutes. Mainly added on as a result of the hold-up with uh, Colo Torre's injury. <laughs> From into Kraut, free kick taken. Here's Finnett. Flamini. This is a little spell. Liverpool don't really want half time right now. 
This is probably the best period they've had in the game. Luis Garcia. Here's Xabi Alonso, now Hufia. Gerard. Sendros. There's a lucky boy again. Right in the traffic. Not sure he knew where he was going. We're just making one or two mistakes, Arsenal in possession. Clubs was the latest, and Gilberto concedes the free kick. I do think the. Uh, Gerard, Haman, Alonso, a little trio in there, and even Garcia when he swaps with Gerard is causing them a few problems. Gilberto and Fabregas are having trouble coping with it at times. And the ball's getting passed around them. And that may be Liverpool's one last chance of an equaliser before half time gone. It is. There's the whistle. Arsenal lead thanks to some great craftsmanship from Fabregas in setting up Thierry Henry. The latest goal from him coming after a wonderful pass from the Spaniard that beat. Jamie Carragher's attempted intervention. There's been some great football from Arsenal, although their lead has looked vulnerable, particularly with Crouch and Luis Garcia going close. But same old story for the ball, not taking their chances and trailing at half time by a goal to nil. And we'll confirm this when we come back about five minutes to go at the Valley. Charlton leading against Middlesbrough 2 1. Graham Sinness with Jamie Redknapp and myself this afternoon. Their thoughts when we come back. Half time here. It's been another masterclass from Thierry Henry. Top class. Birmingham v Tottenham. To order either of these games for £7 or your season ticket for £30, see Channel 480 or call 08705 160 160. I bought a car on eBay. I placed a bid from here. I put in a last minute bid. I won. Never miss a bid on eBay. iMode. Internet at the touch of a button. O2. See what you can do. With The Sun, get your free classic comedy collection on DVD. Six full-length films like On the Buses, Steptoe and Son, Are You Being Served and more. So don't miss your free Best of British Comedy Collection offer. Tell them, Humphreys. I'm free. Starting Monday only with The Sun. We love it. My business? Get in there. My business manager? Elsewhere. My job? All hours. My business manager? Strictly office hours. <laughs> Look at me. My chat. Oh, that lovely. Thank you. Part of the service. My business manager's chat? Extra. 
There is another way. More business advisors in branch, phone support 24-7, and free face-to-face -face advice. My patient's exhausted. My account switched. There's incredible stuff on eBay. I got all these filters and lenses. My girlfriend thinks I'm a bore. Japanese, Netsuke, Julian will adore it. Of course, he's away with the fairies and the, the, the pixies. And my wife picked up a Russian sailor from Minsk. What a find. <laughs> Same night with the last of the Super 16 ties between Ajax, uh, Inter and Ajax. 7.30 start that on Sky Sports 2. It's his goal that separates the two teams here, Arsenal and Liverpool. A reminder that at the Valley a little earlier, Charlton beat Middlesbrough 2-1 and uh, a lot earlier today, Manchester United beat Newcastle 2-0. And I think change is afoot. Before we get those confirmed, let me just tell you that Peter Crouch will be on player cam during the first 10-15 minutes of the second half. That facility, of course, for Sky Digital viewers, commentators Andy Gray and Rob Hawthorne. Well, Liverpool haven't scored since this man Harry Kuehl did. He got the winner against Manchester City, and he's coming on to replace Jan Kronkamp. So that's uh, two and a half games since in which Liverpool have failed to hit the net. And their luck change in the second half here. You know, it looks like Steven Gerrard will just play from the right hand side as he's done for a huge part of this season. Peter Crouch missed their best opening in that first half. He and Luis Garcia get the second half. Underway, Liverpool leading the win to make ground on Manchester United, who've already made headway of their own in the battle to hold on to the automatic Champions League qualifying place. Busy season that Steven Gerrard has had already. The last thing he needs is to pre qualify for next season's Champions League competition. This is Gerrard's 50th game of the season, all told, for club and country. And we're hoping it will be uh, prolonged by England's involvement in the World Cup. At least I am, I'm sure you're not bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Finnick. <laughs> Luis Garcia. <laughs> Perez. <laughs> Emmanuel Adebayor. Fabregas. Yeah. Yeah. Turned into trouble. And just didn't get away with it, Perez. And Steven Gerrard's around, he always spells trouble for the team he's facing. He's won the header there, and he gets it back from Luis Garcia. Looks to pick out a pass to Harry Kuehl, and Kuehl looks to feed it through to Luis Garcia. He blocked off there by Senderos, Liverpool were pulling that he was. Well, they had a good look at it, Steve Bennett. It was at a pretty good angle to see if there was any contact. And a good start to the second half by Liverpool there. Pressing Arsenal half the pitch. Fabregas is the man who can relieve the pressure and get Arsenal on the front foot straight away with Adebayor. He's pulled it back for Thierry Henry. And Henry there was waiting his moment. And it just was closed up for him a little once he stopped the ball. But he is brilliant at just accelerating from a standing start, I have to say. It's Henri's goal that divides the teams at present. And after an anxious start to the second half, the ball in the area of the pitch where 
Arsenal would want it to be. Here's Hleb. Away by Sami Hupia. Led by Luis Garcia, but Liverpool still hem back in their own half. Henry finding himself surrounded. And Finnan brings it clear. Most opportunity to clear though. Now Fabregas. Here's Flamini. Senderos to Colo Torre. Oh, it would be interesting to see if Steven Gerrard can get at Flamini in any way. He's done really well as a left back. And Gerard are going at you at full flight. Something else. How many very much the uh, makeshift left back. It's been a problem position for Arsenal all season. Club looking for the ball to Henri, who skips over it, but he's got it now. Pires takes over. It's Henri in for a second. And narrowly misses. Did you see Mister? <laughs> and that is the only surprise. Somehow they picked their way through here. But it's the pace that everything happens, it's just so impressive. He probably just gets it a little too close to Reyna. Close down a little for him. Even so, when the angle is acute. Yeah. You expect the net to bulge all the time, don't you, with Henri? No, it wasn't, I don't think it was as acute as we think, but what it was, was that Reyna was a bit closer. It made it more difficult. Here's Fabregas. Picks out Henri again. Lovely link up. Hopia blocks it. Falls to Flamini. Through the legs of the land, but it's a no threat whatsoever to Rayner. Mm, well, it's the way they just pick a way through here. They don't quite have control of it, but they get there. And that touch, you see how close the goalkeeper is to him. That made the chance a little more difficult than it might have been. You watch the second goal. I think he knows he might need it. Well, as you mentioned in the first half, Liverpool haven't been prolific in the Premiership. Bolton on the 2nd of January, the only time since the turn of the year they've scored twice in a Premiership match. Harry Kuhl has contributed a couple lately. And he can afford a smile, even though Abue is not too happy with him there. Well, the trouble with Abue is there's no pace on the ball, it's taking forever to go out the pitch. You, know, you can't expect people just to stand back and let it go. Kuehl has been a, a player reborn this season. That's a lot of fun to get away in the Premiership, to see how high Sam Hupia's foot was there. That in Europe. Any other country would be an automatic free kick. Liverpool five times champions of Europe, five times more than Arsenal, but their domestic dominance has suffered as a result. Here's Pires now, Flamini. Just couldn't get any angle in the cross. Gerard did well to keep it in. Here's Flamini. Now Henri. Just caught by Jamie Carragher. As everyone has been saying again today, he's so hard to legislate for Thierry Henri. Away goes again. And Xabi Alonso takes on Finnan with Carragher doubling up behind. his crouch Hupia he's there to be reached by Alexander Fleb and he did not the hat <laughs> I think he got that off the teapot didn't he at half time <laughs> that's it just because you dress the way you do don't knock it that's more than fashion time <laughs> I've got one of them <laughs> Oh, he's 
is that offside? He says no. <laughs> he says no. Fine lines, aren't they? He doesn't think so. No, this is no place to argue. He's on the halfway line, low down. <laughs> he hasn't got a really good view of it. But this is how close it is. And the one you have to look at is Sammy Hoop here. To the left. Oh, I tell you what. They get the advantage of the defending team again there. Henri, now Claire. And moving forward in numbers, a great ball to Henri! Game should be over. Game should be over, and it's not. Just how well did Jamie Carragher do, I asked myself there. Did he influence Henri's finish at the very end? I don't know. <clears throat> Certainly something seemed to, again, look at this football, it's just fantastic. Could have gone right, he decided to go through the middle. And I just wonder, did Carragher do enough? Don't know. Here's Xavi Alonso. Gerard. Warner. Oh, right, right. That was after the challenge from Carragher, took his time getting up. But he does that anyway. He's got license just to stroll back and conserve his energy. Captain's right. No, fabulous football off right. <laughs> Perhaps looking to get involved there. Blocked off by uh, Toure and Lehman came confidently enough. Over gas, taken down by Didi Aman. Yeah, he's missed the ball totally, Didi Aman there. I don't think he gets anything on it. Very little of him, that's a foul. But Arsenal will certainly feel that in the opening ten minutes of this second half they should have wrapped this game up. A couple of really good chances. And you just don't feel that Liverpool have got two or three goals in them. Fabregas. Great ball again to add it by all. And Hoopier gets his body in the way. Super vision, isn't it? It's one thing you have the vision. Some have it. Some have ability to play passes. This kid's got both. Kleb. Decent turn by Alexander Kleb. Oh, he was in the boot as well. He was in. His chest over hits it. Again, it's lovely football. It's not difficult to see, is it, why uh, Spain have just made Cesc Fabregas their youngest international footballer in 70 years. Well, he's just out to be going to Germany, hasn't he? You just feel that the level he's playing at. 25th start this season in the league. The layman's come and lost that, the bounce is awkward. I don't see any sign of fatigue in his young legs, though. All he really wants to do is play. Oh, Hooper has let it go! Here's Henri. Perez has burst into the middle and he's picked him out. Xavi Alonso got back. Oh, just the way he skipped off the ground, got away from him. You just watch this, it's a lovely ball through and when Hoopier misses it, it just gets away from Henri. Had he controlled that, there were problems. But they do well because Perez gets there. Liverpool get enough defenders around them. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> yeah, the two very, very, very good midfield players in our studio who must be drooling over this kids' play. Here's Kiel. Nothing to his left. Hoopia. See, I don't think half time has helped Liverpool. I thought they were much better at going into the end of the first half. Half time, Arsenal got themselves back in the driving seat. They've been in control of the game. And it hasn't really happened for Liverpool yet. Just about 15 minutes in. <clears throat> You'll know that. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I think Liverpool were pretty good in that part of the game approaching half time and they haven't quite been able to step up again second half 
if I'm being honest, I don't think the changes have helped him either. I thought the midfield, the way it was working in the first half, was caused Master a few problems late on. Here's Luis Garcia, the substitute who did help them to victory against Arsenal only last month. They still have players at his disposal on the bench who might be able to alter Liverpool's fortunes, but it's Arsenal making the running again. Henri picks out the pass, out of by all offside. Well, he looked miles from where we're sitting. I know we're not in line, but he waited and waited and waited. Yeah. He might have just played it slightly earlier. <clears throat> But one thing I'll say, just one mistake for how good Arsenal are playing at this score and an awful lot of good work is undone and Liverpool know that and that's what keeps them very much in this game Arsenal haven't won in the Premiership here since they hammered Middlesbrough draw with Bolton and they got a late equaliser and they were beaten here by West Ham it is a lead that uh, could still be vulnerable here's Steve Finnan crossed by Gerrard looking to stand it up to Crouch or Kuehl there's Crouch Luis Garcia looking to make the most of it Chopping it back and Toure getting it away. A little bit of a mismatch, Fabregas against Crouch in the air, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, half an hour to go. Rafael Benitez must be thinking and maybe changing it. <coughs> You think he's got to get Morientes or Fowler on? I think he's got to take Haman off. There's two holding players, Haman and Alonso. I think if you're chasing the game, you don't need both in there. It might be just a case of Fowler up top, get Garcia wide on the right, and get Stevie Gerrard into a central area alongside Alonso. It would be more adventurous, it might be more threatening. Historically, Robbie Fowler has had an excellent record against Arsenal. It's seven years since he lined up here in a Liverpool shirt. Could he be the man to change the course of this game for Liverpool? Sure, he would love one last hurrah at Anfield, at uh, Highbury rather, a ground that uh, does hold good memories for him. Gerard. No, he didn't go crouch on the little diagonal run that Steven Gerard was looking from him. Gilbert. Here's a boy. It's a great run from Emmanuel Ibue. It's a corner. Got the ball. I'll tell you, I'm not so sure if he did. We've not got the best angle. But if the referee decides it's a corner, then he's sure that a man gets the ball. Oh, I'll tell you what. If he can see that from there, he's got the eyes of an eagle. And there's a the ref's view. Oh, I'll tell you what, he can't see it. He's looking through players. I think he's guessed. He's given him a, any little advantage he needed there. He had. That was a close call. Fabregas with the kick. Torre keeping the pressure up. Away by Warner. Here's Glenn. Yeah. Yeah. 
Luis Garcia played behind Crouch. I'm not sure what on earth he was doing there, Luis Garcia. I have no idea what you saw. Fabregas. Way by Hufia. The man lets it run and Flamini's there. There's Luis Garcia. Warnock. Here's Warnock. Now kill. It's Chabi Alonso. This is better again from Liverpool. Getting themselves back into the game. The possession. It's Crouch. Luis Garcia. Sendros came across. Gerard tried to fire it back in. Torres doing the defending though. Oh, don't panic, son. That's fantastic defending. Moreno wins the race. A close run thing. Perez. Fabregas to Kleb. So Luis Garcia has helped it on, but it's the uh, wrong side for Crouch. There's Perez. Now Adebayo. Flamini. Now by Gilberto. Here's the man. Mm, still trying to get Dennis Bergkamp on. Change has been planned by both teams. It looks as though Robbie Fowler is going to get an emotional... Uh, Farewell to the Highbury stage, not out of any sentiment, but purely because we can perhaps do Liverpool a job here. Here's Crouch. Sendros got to him in time. And they backed away initially. He almost paid for it. Well, the moment has arrived where Arsenal can send on Dennis Bergkamp. It's Emmanuel Adebayor. He's being replaced. I think he's done all right. I'm not surprised he's coming off. I think they'll try and get Bearcat on, get the ball. Keep it. And it's another good, what, three quarters of a game for this young lad, only 22. Learning about life at this level. I think he's got something. Contrast between his experience and that of the man coming on. 
Been around the block a few times, seen it all. Dennis Bergkamp, not sure how much more we'll see of him in an Arsenal shirt. Have to savour every moment now. Here's Finnan. Carragher looking for Luis Garcia, but Sendros guides it away. Here's Xabi Alonso. And Carragher. With the direct ball into Crouch. After all the approach play they've had, Liverpool still unable to find that final ball to unlock Arsenal and it's Cleb here on the break Bergkamp's free, first touch for Bergkamp and it's a wasted one Well, they took a long time to have an attempt, first half but this is his chance, Bergkamp, he's just on you have to say that normally, normally, Dennis Bergkamp does better than that we're saying they took a long time Liverpool to have an attempt first half. They eventually had four, and they haven't had any so far in the second half. Oh, one change that Rafa Benitez has made so far has not had the desired effect. Further use of his bench may be required here. With more than 20 minutes remaining, Arsenal hanging on to this man's goal, Thierry Henry. But Gerard looking to get Liverpool back into the game. Tries to bend one round for Crouch. That was one of his stock balls, that one. Neyman almost looking for it, almost expecting it. And Flamin, he went forward there and, and they lost possession. Steven Gerrard just in behind him there. Roberto. Bergkamp. There's Luis Garcia. And oh, then the final ball is wasted. Mm, just a bit. And took a blow to the face. <laughs> We've got the messies, don't you? <laughs> Not sure what he's complaining at. That little cuff around here. Come on, get up. Here, dear. Crouch. Perez. Henri. Far by Sammy Hippier. Well, Fowler must be coming on now, surely. They've waited five, ten minutes, had him ready. And if they are going to throw him on, they need to give him enough time to make an impact. Fabregas. Kleb. And he's out of the game offside. Fowler is going to come on. Rafa Benitez is going through exactly what he expects of him. I would just write one word. Go. <laughs> I think that was the four-letter word he had in mind. <laughs> Look at Robbie looking as if to say, this is you. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do all that? <laughs> yeah, you got it? Go on then. 
Well, there was very late drama in the first FA Cup meeting of Aston Villa and Manchester City. Manchester City earning a replay, which you can see live on Sky Sports 1, Tuesday from 7.30. And here comes Robbie Fowler after that uh, lengthy briefing. Well, that makes sense to me. I talked about it. It would have to be her man. You wouldn't imagine Alonso if he's fit, he would, would go off. This was a sensible substitution. No point in having Alonso and her man on when you're chasing a goal. You keep your potential match winners on. I would guess Luis Garcia to the right, and I would move Gerard infield. Well, the natural finishing prowess of Robbie Fowler. There's a drawn admiration in quarters here at Highbury before, where he's been linked with the move to Arsenal on more than one occasion. But back at the club now where he belongs, can he score his uh, first goal for them since his return? He's already had the ball in the back of the net three times, only to see all of them disallowed. Xavi Alonso. And Harry Kuehl unable to keep it in. Here's Pires. And Bergkamp has set Pires away, but he's offside. <laughs> this might have been a guess. I'm not so sure how much in line he was. Look what he is. <laughs> the way look at Steve Finnan is at this side here. He's not off. And then he goes back the lines we're looking at. He says, all right, I'll stick the flag up. Well, defence is both sides, to be fair. We've been given the advantage. No, only level for once, I guess. Stryler got it on to Kiel. He couldn't get around. Colo Torre. Run back by Xavi Alonso. Now Gerard. Powerhouse strike. It's come back off Lehman. Luis Garcia follows it up in the same manner that he did at Anthony. To beat Arsenal, he now draws level with them. Well, they won't be happy. They want a free kick against on Fabregas. Wenger is furious, and I mean furious in the touchline. Absolutely livid. Look at him. He wants the free kick. That's what he wants. This is what he expects. Free kick there. I'm really surprised he doesn't get it, let me tell you. But that's why I think Steven Gerrard should play there because he's the one player they've got that can do this time and time again. The ball moves everywhere, and for one chance, Lehman gets it wrong. Yes, fist it if you must, but don't fist it straight back out in front of you. You just can't do that, because you're asking for trouble. And he got it. He got it big time. Full match to Luis Garcia in from this angle and committed to it. Maybe Tony should have done better. But at 1-0, I said it. One mistake. And 75 minutes of pretty good work is out the window. Well, a goal at last for Liverpool. But still not a front man. <laughs> he's Indeed. furious, isn't he? Look at Wenger. I think he's right. You want my honest opinion? I thought it was a free kick. <laughs> well, Luis Garcia, who may not have had the most distinguished of afternoons, but he's done to Arsenal what he did to them at Anfield. He's followed up on a rebound, he scored a crucial goal. This time he's undone the work of Thierry Henry in the first half. And a yellow card here for Xavi Alonso. Well, it's a bit like shutting the gate after the horse has bolted as far as Arsenal are concerned. Two Spanish players in the little chat. I don't know what Alonso's got him on about. He's late, he catches him quite badly. <laughs> well, he's just getting a bit heated, this. There's a few... Um, <laughs> Flamini and Gerard are having a right to go at each other. Henri. Away by Carragher. 
Perez. It's Dennis Bergkamp. Miss kick. And it uh, struck his hand anyway. Well, that's what he's given. Handball. It's a chance, though, again for Dennis. Just doesn't control it instantly. It gets away from him here, look. And he doesn't do that deliberately. <laughs> it's totally unintentional. But they only have themselves to blame. Liverpool fans happy, but Arsenal will know that this game should have been over 15 minutes into the second half. Three great chances that they missed. Well, have they got the ambition, Liverpool, to go on and maybe even nick this? Well, they need to in pursuit of that second place with Manchester United having put a bit more of a gap between themselves and Liverpool already today. Fowler strikes it. see how well they've responded I, took, I thought they took a while second half again to get going Liverpool you can see from the action areas they're asking a few questions Kill. Warnock cleared by Lehman downfield looking for Bergkamp Xavi Alonso, it's Liverpool who are finishing this one the stronger. Luis Garcia looking for Kuehl. Garcia again! I'll tell you why he's lucky, Lehman, because it hits Flamini and it takes an awful lot of the pace off this shot and it makes the save a little easier. He's claiming handball, Luis Garcia, but. It might have hit his hands, but there's not a lot he could have done about it, Flamini. Pick a winner now, sir. Anybody's, isn't it? <laughs> well, I know the team that looks most likely. And I'm not telling you in case I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I can guess. <laughs> Henri. Sender off, so he's got lucky he's uh, got the decision against Crouch. And it's a transformation that Rafa Benitez wanted to see for a long time, didn't look coming. And Arsenal agreed that it has happened at all because of the foul in the build up. Here's Henri, now Clare. It's a little congested hole and white shots that were in the middle of the pitch there. They could have sprung Perez, but he didn't. Flamini. He's in trouble here. He might be off. He might be off. Joe he Alonso has been booked already. And he's given Steve Bennett no option but to show him a second yellow, and he's off. Well, he can argue all he likes. The referee is not going to change his mind. Well, he's risking further trouble by not leaving the field here. It's going to make no difference whatsoever. He might as well go now before he gets himself in deeper water. Well, he's disappointed because he's played a bad ball. I think he's unlucky. Honest, unlucky. Because he slips, he falls, I think. And he falls into Flamini. Now whether Steve Bennett's turned away as he's played the pass and he's actually missed what happened. But I've got some sympathy with him this time. Well, it's a very slow and reluctant exit from Xabi Alonso. Straight to the dressing room he goes. Fowler. 
Sandros proving a difficult obstacle to beat, and Gilberto looked to release Henri. Here's Gerard. Luis Garcia. And it's stolen some of Liverpool's thunder. of all people to turn and play it blind no one needs to tell him he has time he has time look at him look at him look at him just waiting and he doesn't miss those turns around thinks it's bear oh. was bear camp shielding only he obviously didn't see him he comes from nowhere what a couple of minutes this has been for Liverpool. Who up until Alonso sending off looks, I'll tell you, looks like the team who might go on and win it. Well, their hopes of finishing second Liverpool may just have crumbled in the last few minutes with those two key incidents. The second yellow and the red for Xabi Alonso and the man who's normally so reliable for Rafa Benitez suffering a rush of blood he put his hands on his head the minute he played that pass Henri he knew would finish off that gift of a chance and Gerard's given it away again to the same man and Fabregas could be in for a third but it's Gerard this time who repairs the situation <laughs> I'm just thinking not again he almost got caught in possession gave it away Becoming involved with Fabregas in his bid to get the ball back quickly. Well, he's been through the emotional roller coaster today, hasn't he, Arsene Wenger? Grieved enough about the uh, goal that his team conceded because he felt they should have had a free kick in the build of Arsenal. But since then, the balance has tipped against Liverpool. Fowler challenging with Toure. Clegg. Fabregas. Now Henri. Picks up Burkamp. Terrible control. <laughs> and Boué. Stopped by Hooker. Cole protecting himself against the uh, <laughs> elements on a freezing day. Sol Campbell watching from the tunnel. And their team ending on a high, but Clegg's given it away. Still wouldn't necessarily write Liverpool off, although their chances have been weakened by the loss of Xavi Alonso and the manner in which they've conceded that goal. Here's Henri, who took full advantage. Great stuff from Henri. Carragher tries to hold him up and does enough. <laughs> Here's Q. Well, this is when Thierry on me takes forever to get back. He's just on the edge of the 18 yard box now. So it's 10 v 10 to all intents and purposes. quickly became active when Gerard played that ball back to him just a few minutes ago and he'll become active again here 
If Fabregas can pick him out, and he has. Thierry Henry's away from Finnan. He's lined it up for Pires, and he's hit the post. That would have been a magnificent crowning glory from Arsenal. Uh, Pires gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> On his flat out. I told you it takes forever to walk back. It was a fascinating piece of football, that. And then suddenly he's alive and off again. There you go, pal, he says. Finish the game off. And that's been the story for Arsenal today. A game that should have been won long ago, still even now, is in the balance. Here's Slet. Abue. Arsenal still with the hunger to finish Liverpool off with the third. They've got a free kick here, Luis Garcia on Pires. Here's Henri. Foul by Luis Garcia, it's another card. Well, it's pure frustration from Luis Garcia. No attempt to play the ball whatsoever. He's playing Henri and only Henri. Henri asked the question why. <laughs> <laughs> well, no Arsenal player in the 18-yard box as they line up the free kick. <laughs> He's got some wonderful expressions on me when he gets fouled, doesn't he? How dare you? Takes it as a personal affront. That's because you're brilliant, son, that's why. <laughs> People can't cope at times. Yeah, will he take it? Will he fancy his hat-trick? Less than a minute to go. Couple of deep breaths. Well, it wouldn't be the first time he'd scored a hat-trick against Liverpool. He did here a couple of seasons ago. He's got a fancy it, surely, hasn't he? Well, look at all the players. We've seen where they all are. Everyone last will play. Look, there's Dennis Bergkamp. And that's it. All right! I thought he might fancy it. Everyone else was back behind the ball. <laughs> Everyone, apart from Dennis Bergkamp, he was the only player in front of the ball. What a good save, though. Well, still no Arsenal players in the area as Henri O'Shaw goes against his usual instincts of holding it up and trying to run the clock down. Well, over the piece. And it's not finished, I know, but over the piece, you can't deny, I think, Arsenal have been the better side. Senderos put himself in a knot there, and Fowler could be in, it's cleared by Flamini. Kuehl looking for the free kick. We're in the three minutes of stoppage time that's been added on. Oh, great touch. <laughs> Fabregas. That's a foul. <clears throat> That's a foul. Leans on him. Look at that for a touch. And then his next touch is away. Brilliant stuff. And that's a foul. Just a little nudge in the back. He'll take that Arsenal. Do you think they're going to cross this? Look. <laughs> 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 well, you can't blame them, can you? Perez has won it back. Well, I think after midweek, it's been a pretty good game. Certainly, uh, Liverpool might have had the hangover. Arsenal would be buoyant, but it took a lot out of them Wednesday. You wouldn't have guessed it today, they've given up on both sides again. <laughs> it took three of them to knock him off the ball. Well, this has got to go forward to Crouch now. And they found Crouch. Can he make the most of it for Liverpool? 
have wasted chances before in this game they might just get one more before the final whistle Carragher gets himself out of a hole with Bergkamp Gerrard looks to create uncertainty oh, that must be it surely and it only takes a second to score there's only 20 of them left and Arsenal have the ball Henry's got a free kick and that might be enough to let them buy the time they need to just get to the final whistle and claim those three points Arsene Wenger so desperately wants here big result big result in the fourth place I have to talk about that the Arsenal it sounds strange but a massive result for them what a week for Arsenal in the quarter-finals of the Champions League and now a double from Thierry Henry ensures that they are still on the shoulder of Spurs and their other rivals for the Champions League place a consoling word there for Steven Gerrard who inexplicably presented the winner on a plate to Henry it was a real masterclass in finishing again from him although at one stage it looked as though missed opportunities might cost Arsenal dear he was put through by Fabregas for his first inadvertently by Gerrard for his second in between Luis Garcia looked as though he might actually earn a point for Liverpool but it all went wrong for them when Xabi Alonso picked up two bookings in a matter of minutes and was consequently shown a red card but it's a big big win for Arsenal this Arsenal 2 Liverpool 1 not the first time poor old Steven Gerrard has presented Thierry Henry with a present remember Euro 2004 it's happened again today other results this afternoon, Charlton beat Middlesbrough by two goals to one, two from Darren Bent, one from Mark Viduka sandwiched in between them, and Manchester United with two goals from Wayne Rooney beat Newcastle 2-0. So, table looks like this, Sunderland, Pompey and Birmingham still in the drop zone. Fulham in 16th this weekend, not too far off real trouble. Middlesbrough, no change for them. Newcastle and Everton on the weekend changing places. City and West Ham both down this weekend. Wigan climbing to eighth. No change for Bolton today. Or Blackburn. Arsenal fifth. Two points now behind Spurs. That's where they started the weekend as well. Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea still the top three. But five points the gap now between Liverpool and Manchester United in the chase for second. Chelsea 15 points clear. Tomorrow, Stoke meet Crystal Palace. It's a 7.30 start on Sky Sports 1. Tuesday, Manchester City meet Aston Villa. 7.30 Sky Sports 1. That's an FA Cup fifth round replay, remember. And on the same night, remaining tie from the Super 16 of the Champions League, it's Inter against Ajax. That's at 7.30 on Sky Sports 2. Graham Sinness and Jamie Redknapp have been watching that. Thoroughly enjoyable, as long as you weren't a Liverpool fan. So much to admire. Fabulous game. We'll name the man of the match when we come back and get all the reaction to a win for the Gunners. Tonight on Sky One, Dream Team. How are you doing this? How are you? 24. Yes, Mr. President. Mike. What's going on? Federal agent, drop the weapon! Rescue me. This is the emergency you had to have me come over to help you deal with. Yeah. Do me a favor, next time call the hormone hotline. Brand new episodes of Dream Team at 8. 24 at 9. And Rescue Me at 10. Tonight on Sky One. Close your eyes. Listen to your heart. And think. Come on, do yourself a favor and think big. All this from 7594. New Grande Punta. Open your eyes. People, now is the time to shed our embarrassment about winning. Now is the time to get used to winning. From Wednesday, we can help you all get used to winning with McDonald's Big Win Monopoly. Because you all have a one in four chance of winning instantly. 
We won't be a second. Should we? Nah. More than give you a car insurance quote in a couple of minutes. It's dead easy. Lucky. Uh, nice car, Tom. Yeah. Hey, look. I've got my quote. That's lucky. And it says I could save even more if I buy online. <sighs> That's more than lucky. Save more on car insurance when you buy online at morethan.com. All this week with The Sun, get six classic comedy DVDs like Omnibuses and Steptoe and Son, plus more absolutely free. I'm free. Offer starts Monday, only with The Sun. We love it. We see protection. We see security. We see confidence. We see peace of mind. We've made our software more secure. At Microsoft, we're always working to keep it that way. Find out more. Robbery, hostage situation. Till I talk to them, they get nothing, not even a cup of coffee. On March 24th. One jumbo jet with full gas tank and pilots. Whoever heard of bank robbers escaping on a plane? It does not add up. Never judge a crime. There are matters here that are a little bit above your pay grade. By its cover. And this thing stinks to high hell. Denzel Washington, Clive Owen, and Jodie Foster. They heard everything we said. They bugged us. Keep your men back. Inside man. What are you doing? Come on, this ain't no bank robbery. I never seem to really hit it off with women. Well, you're not going to, looking like that. Image consultants, my friend really, really needs your help. Let me do the talking. Hi. 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 Nice, nice shirt. shirt. I like it. Right. Well, oh, dear. <sighs> Green is so not your color. Yellow pages. Whatever you want, just yell. <laughs> T-Mobile constantly adapts to give you our best deal so the world's not so rigid anymore. more for Thierry Henry today and uh, now there is basketball on Sky Sports 3 tonight tennis Andy Murray plays against Nikolai Davidenko 7 o'clock Sky Sports extra the Spanish football Osasuna against Barcelona at 8 on Sky Sports 1 golf day 4 of the Honda Classic at 8 on 2 and there's more A1 Grand Prix racing, this time from California, at 9 on Sky Sports 3. Two for Thierry Henry. It wasn't enough to win him the Man of the Match vote, although he is with the Man of the Match, and they're both with Jeff Shreves. Well done, Thierry. Sesk, 2-1. Looks comfortable, but it wasn't, was it? Was it very tight? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, I think, when you, are, when you play against teams like, like Liverpool, they play great football. And with great players, it's always difficult. But, you know, we have a, a great team, great spirit, and I think we deserve the victory today. Thierry, for the first goal, just how good was the ball from this young man alongside you? Well, the most important thing is the timing of the ball. And I know Sesk uh, has that in his game. And uh, at the beginning, I wanted the ball in my, in my feet. And then after that, I saw that... Uh, they, they, let a little, they left a little, a little gap for me and, you know, like I said so many times, I think we caught eyes and he understood that I wanted the ball behind and, uh, well, once again, uh, he played a great ball for, for me. 
Just how tiring was it out there today after Wednesday? Oh, it was really difficult, you know, uh, even more from a personal point of view on Wednesday, being alone up front. That was a bit difficult, even though we played we played some uh, some great stuff on Wednesday. But uh, today, once again, you know, it, it, it looked like, you know, we... we we could have scored some more, and then we didn't, and they scored, uh, they scored a goal. And you know, you have to pick yourself up, and it's never easy after being one nil up and uh, well, 15 minutes uh, from the end of the game. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we somehow managed to score one. Sexton, how worried were you when you couldn't get that second goal? Well, he's, uh, as I said before, he's the 